scan the radio I hope this song will guide you home They will see us waving from such great heights Come down now They'll say Such Great Heights by Iron and Wine, which is of course a uh, Postal Service uh, cover. He recorded it for the uh, soundtrack of the Garden State. And in this lesson we take a look at two versions, which you could have seen earlier uh, in this video. They're pretty uh, different, uh, I'd say. So one is, of course, the album version, and the other one is how he performs it on stage, which is very freeform and very random to begin with. If you're familiar with his work, then I'm sure you know what I mean. And he definitely changes things up with this song. I've never seen him on stage play it exactly as on the album, so maybe you have. I don't know. Anyway, we of course take a look at that one, because it's a lovely finger-picking uh, arrangement. Travis style uh, picking there, so keeping the bass notes going in swing time, so it's not straight like this. Like this. You hear the difference? We talk about it, don't get me wrong. So, we're also capoed on the 6th fret playing in the key of C, the 1, 4, 5. So, that'll be C, F, and G. Although, for F, it's uh, more a paddle chord shape, and with the open strings, you have like a 6 and a 9 and a raised 11, and I'm just going to call it F. <laughs> okay. Now, so I've written out tablature uh, for the whole song, they're pretty exactly as how he plays it uh, on the uh, album. We go through uh, every section, a couple of little uh, embellishments uh, in there, and you should be good to go with that one. Then, indeed, I want to take a look at how he performs it on stage uh, a bit as well, share you a couple of uh, the things that I bumped into. For starters, he totally changed the feel for it. It's not like in swing time, again, it's more like what you've heard uh, earlier. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Instead of... And so on. Still playing in uh, the key of C there, but with uh, a barred uh, F chord in there. Strings a little bit uh, muted. Also a couple of little embellishments such as hammer-ons when playing G, when playing F, and well, we take a look at all that as well. And then you can decide for yourself whichever version you want to play. I'm still not sure which one I like best. He also sings it uh, pretty different uh, when playing it on stage because on the album he's on the 6th fret. On stage he sometimes just takes it off or puts the capo on the 1st or the 2nd fret. And so taking it down quite a bit but singing it an octave up. Anyway, now, yes, let's get started. Iron and Wine's Such Great Heights. If you're interested, come and check it out at TotallyGuitars.com. <laughs> 